So as I told you, samples are used to fetch data from its objects and its corresponding corresponding parent or child objects. So using sample, I can fetch the data from an object and also I can fetch the data from corresponding parent object or corresponding child object. So we can fetch the data from the related objects. Sample may give you list of record. Sample will give you list of records. Why list of records? We are not sure how many records are going to be But I say, get me all the leads which are created today. I am not sure how many leads are created today. It may be 10, it may be 20, it may be 100. When I say get me all the leads, it will give you list of leads created today. So how many leads we are going to get? We are not sure. That's the reason. We are going to get list of its object. Maximum number of records, what we can fetch? Maximum we can fetch up to 50,000 records. Maximum we can fetch up to 50,000 records. So how many records we can fetch? Up to 50,000 records we can fetch. Right. Next, we are going to use query. What is a query? Query is a statement written to fetch the data. Query is a statement written to fetch the data. So, Syntax, basic syntax, select fields from, select fields from a shop. When you say select fields from a shop, example one, write a query to fetch, fetch all the opportunities. Would you write only query? <coughs> only query we write. Is so it select name, stage name, amount from offer? Write a query to fix. All the account records. <coughs> Select name in the C code. Ready for to fetch all the account records. Ready for it. Fetch all the lead account. Write a query to fetch all the lead accounts. We say write a query to fetch all the lead accounts. We're going to give select first name, first name, code. So we are fetching the data. Write a query to fetch the following data. Then how do you, from where do you run the query? We can run the query. In how many ways we can run the query? You have created a sample query, but in how many ways we can run the query? The sample query what you wrote, in how many ways we can run that query? The sample query what you wrote, in how many ways we can run that query? So let us see this. First, developer console. First, developer console. Here you are finding developer console extension. You are finding an extension. 
In the extension, what are you finding here? 488. There you can give. Select name industry from click on it. So you already get query which is giving you result. So one of the solution, one of the way of writing the queries, developer console, the extension we have a query hidden, where you write your program, where you write your query and click on execute. So one of the way of executing the query is from the developer console, query editor. From the developer console, query editor, we can query the records based on your choice. The other way of writing the query is, we can also go to, one is, query editor. From developer console. Second one we have query editor from developer console. Second, we can write software in FX class or triggers or anonymous window. How you write? You write the query like this. List of its object result equal to select fields from list of its object result equal to select fields from its object. Why do you take a list of its object? Because when you write a query, we are not sure what type of result we are going to get. It may be one, it may be two, it may be ten. List of S object result equal to select fields from S object. Select fields from S object. So in the in the FX class or a trigger or anonymous window, we read the circle query in the form of list of S object result equal to select fields from S object. Or else we can also give the query string query equal to select from we can give list of its object result equal to database dot we can also form the query like a string write the query like a string and say database dot okay database dot query the given string we can form the string like a query we can form the query like a string. We can form the query like a string and say database dot query the query statement. Database dot query query statement is going to give you list of its objects. It's going to give you list of its objects. Now we can also execute from work page. Query can be executed. We can write the circle query from the workbench also. Workbench is a third party tool. You can see here. You can give workbench dot developer Now we have software query. Choose the object. Choose the fields. Select the name, phone from account. We're adding a query. This is how we are ready for. Select fields from object. We are writing a query in this form. Now we can execute the query from developer console. We can execute the query from FX class, triggers, anonymous window. We can execute the query from workbench. We can execute the query from data loader. 
Like this, there are number of solutions what we have. Depends upon the context. Okay. Now, let us take the first example. How to write a basic query, get the data, display them in VS page. The first example of SAR2 query. Let us take a first example of SAR2 query. The first example. How to fetch the data? Display them in the VS page. Public list of account. Fetch the data. Now, how do you run the code? First one. I have a question. Can I run the circle query from a constructor or not? Can I run the circle query from constructor? Yes. We can run the circle query from constructor. So what does it mean? Before the page loads, before the page loads, execute the query, then load the data. Select name, code, industry, rating, from, Then I am going for the VF page. How you display a list of accounts? How you display the list of accounts? Page block table, data table, repeat, repeat or data list. Value equal to Value equal to e. This is a common structure, right? Page block table value equal to list of records Value equal to A How on display? Column Value equal to A dot name Column Value equal to A dot industry We have value equal to this is how we got the data. So I have a preview. We are adding a sub to query. What are the data we are getting? We are displaying them in the year. This is how we are adding a sample query. We wrote a sample query. When you write a sample query, we got a list of records. What are the list of records are there? Those records I am trying to display in the VF page. So I fetched a list of records straight away I am displaying. But now what I need is, I am going to write a sample query. Whatever the data I am going to get, I want to convert them into a wrapper and I want to display. This is what, writing a sample query straight away displaying the list of records. But now, I want to write a sample query. Whatever the data you are getting, convert the data into list of wrapper records and display. List of wrapper records and display. How to display list of wrapper? Look at the point. If I want to display records in this format, if I want to display the data in this format, what I need? I need a checkbox plus data. If I want a checkbox plus data, it's a combination of two data types. One is boolean, other one is account. One account record, one checkbox. One account record, one checkbox. So the combination is what we require. If we require a combination, 
तबीयत सकून सुकूफन बराबर क्लास सो आई गिवन पब्लिक अकाउंट दिस इज वन अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड देन फॉलो करें बुलिन Now, what I told, write a sharp tool for you. Get the data, display them in here. What you are supposed to display? Public, the staff, report, report. Then, what I am doing here? Public. List of account. Select the name, industry, phone, rating. So what are you supposed to? Do? List of. New list of account. Then take one by one account record. Then I am taking account wrapper for every account record. We are getting one account. For every account record, we are getting one account wrapper. In account wrapper, what is it? AC dot. What is the record we have? AW dot ACC equal to AW dot log equal to. Then I was supposed to add it. What did I do? I took one by one account record. I took one by one account record. For every account record, I created one account graph. Using every account record, I created one account graph. So I wrote a circle query. I got a list of record. I have taken one by one record and created a corresponding graph. First from ACC. I will create graph. Then you have added the list to go to the circle query and display. Page log table value equal to accounts value equal to here. Follow. What we are going to do? Apex. Face it. Why am I taking face it? Why am I taking face it? When do you use face it? When do you go for face it? If you want to print anything as a header or a footer apart from text message. Apart from text, if you want to give anything as a header or a footer, we'll go for fetch it. Apex input. This is for printing a checkbox on the header of the box. This is for row wise input checkbox. Value equal to a dot slash. Then similarly. Thanks. 
column value equal to a is one account record a is one wrapper record in the a we have ACC in the ACC we have column value equal to a dot ACC dot form value equal to a dot is dot this is how we got have a preview so we got the data here so to get this checkbox on the header we have used a fetch set whatever we need in the fetch set that will be printed on the header now this every row is got a checkbox right boss so what are we doing I am writing a sample query. Whatever the data we are getting, we are converting the data into list of proper records and printing. So create a sample query, get the data, convert them into list of proper and I am trying to display. I hope you are clear. Red box. Okay. Now we want to apply the next one. What is the next one? First, get the data in ascending order. Get the data in descending order. Getting the data in descending order. Getting the data in descending order. So how do you apply this? How to apply this? Basically, we already did a sample query. Select a name for industry rating from take out. So here I am giving a button set. Public. Listen. This is sending order. Again, I am ready. Accounts equal to select name for industry rating from Order by name. Order by four. Order by four number in the same. All right. So similarly, what was that? <coughs> List of select name only grid function use field in this. Okay. Then we have next one. The same code I am taking. Public void Now I have one more query. Public void. Based on name and order by name, ascending, comma, one ascending. So we are applying multiple. Right, so what we are doing was, we can also apply for multiple things, order by phone, order by phone descending, order by phone descending, name descending, so it's your choice, whichever the field. So order by name of the field, followed by ascending or descending. So I want to apply these buttons. Here I am going with this. Page block button. Location. Command button value equal to yes, and if you want to read it, similarly, listening order. Sending order <coughs> so 
Go back to this. Have a preview of the data. This is the data we received. Descending order of your phone number. Descending order. Now, I have made one mistake here. Tell me what is the mistake. You are not given? The phone numbers are organized. Dissing end of phone numbers. So we're doing phone number followed by. So to make it more clear, I'll do one thing. Index held. Order by index. <coughs> Order by industry. Let us check. As for the data I am printing, we are getting here. They are not in a particular order. So we are giving ascending order of industry. We are getting here A, B, C. Organization in the ascending order. Descending order of industry. So we are saying a selling order of industry, the selling order of phone number. The selling order of industry, the selling order of phone number. I hope you are clear. So, right? So, we are going for order by. What is the purpose of order by? It is to sort the records in the selling order or the selling order. Up to how many fields? We can go multiple fields. We can use multiple fields for sorting the data. I hope you are clear. So, if you write a sample code, maximum how many records you make it? 50,000 records you make it. Maximum how many records? 50,000 reports. Okay. I hope you are clear with this format. Next, we are going for limit and offset. Limit, offset, all those. These are the three keywords what we put to learn from now. Now, what is this limit? What is this offset? Look at the form. If you go to the developer console, I am writing it for you. If you write it, select a name industry from my power form. How many reports are you getting? 19 records are getting. I don't want 19 records. From 19 records, I want only 10 records. You say limit 10. Limit 10. That means, boss, run the query. You get a result. From the result, give me 10 records. Write a query. You get a result. From the result, give me 10 records. Limit 5. From the result, give me 5 records. So, limit will say how many records need to be written from the sample query. Once you write a sample query, from the sample query, how many records should be written is given by limit. Limit will specify how many records should be given from the sample query. Then we have offset. Offset is from which record you want. You wrote a sample query, I wrote offset 5. That means in the result, from the fifth record, give me all the records. Total 19 records are there, I told from the fifth record, give me all the records. From 10th record, give me remaining records. Offset will say from which position you want to return the values. You write a sample query, result will come to you from the result. From which position you want me to return the result. So we have limit. It will say how many. When you say offset from where, limit will say how many. Offset will say from where. So limit, offset. If you want to take the combination of both of them, limit 5. Limit 4, offset. So what happened? From 10th position, 4 records from 10th position. 4 records from 10th position. We can apply 4 records from 10th position. 4 records from 10th position. Are you getting my point here? So limit is what? How many? Offset is what? From where? From which position? And if you want to take a combination, limit should be followed by offset. If you want to take the combination, you want to say limit should be followed by offset. I hope you are clear. Okay. Let me give you a basic execution of this program. Basic format of writing a soft call with a limit and offset. Now, whatever we are taking is a word. Straight away, give the value. 
but I don't want to give the values right away. I want you, I want the user to enter how many records you want. User is going to enter what is the limit, what is the offset, then I am going to write a soft token. Now I want BF page with the effects class. Soft for example. Now public integer. Accounts equal to select name comma name comma where I will give limit five offset. This is the fixed value. But I don't want to take the fixed value, I want to take the value what you are giving in the DFP. If you want to use a variable in the software query, if you want to use a value of a variable in the software query, then I will give colon followed by variable. In the software query, if you want to use a variable, we have to give colon followed by Now we are giving offset, colon. So whenever you want to use variable in the sample query, the value should be always given as colon followed by variable. Colon followed by variable. So I give size equal to so and so, offset equal to so and so. Offset value. Limit size value, offset, offset value. So we are writing a sample query. Let us take, take the VF page. Basic talk, basic page. You are supposed to enter on. I'll just set away give. Enter size. Text. Value code. Action. Please go to table. Value equal to. Page block table value equal to
this away. Name phone ready. So we are trying to understand. We are trying to understand name phone in the seal. I will give you. So we are giving our own data. Leave it five. So from fifth position, get me five records. No. What was that? Query retender one. ID equal to one. We are forgetting to give IDs. So go back. From fifth position, five records. From fifth position, give it two records. Now apply. So whatever the value that you are entering here, if you want to use its value within the sample query, then you are supposed to give what? Colon followed by colon followed by value. So using this, can I achieve pagination? What is pagination? I have added a sample query. I got 100 records. I don't want to display all the 100 records at a time. Per page, I want to display only five records. When you click on next, next five records. Next, next file record. Last, last file record. Previous, previous file record. So can I apply that pagination? What is the pagination concept? There is searching file, it's searching in the Google. Now, how many? 5, 4, 35 lakh results are found. Now we will display all the results in a single page. Per page, they are only displaying 10 records. So more than 10, what happened? Second, second file records. Last, Last five records. What was this? So what was this? It's a page edition. Per page they are saying 10 records. When you click next, next 10 records. Previous, previous 10 records. Can I apply this using offset and limit? Can I achieve this concept using offset and limit? Yes, right? So you can give offset equal to 0, limit equal to 5. Right? Next, offset equal to 5, limit equal to 5. Next, offset equal to 15, limit equal to 5. Next, offset equal to 20, limit equal to 5. We can achieve it. If you click on previous, offset equal to 10. Click on previous, offset equal to 5. Click on previous, offset equal to 0. So with the combination of limit and offset, we can apply a concept of page reach. With the combination of limit and offset, we can go for a combination of page reach. Are you clear about this? Am I clear? People are clear about this. Okay. Try to achieve the example. Then let me take one more example. Because if you delete the records, when I enter the sample query, which records are coming to me? When I read a sample query, let me replicate the same. I'm giving public list of Now, we want to display this top report. Let me create a VS page. Now we will try to fetch. When you ready a query, which records you are going to get? The records which are in database, all the records are getting displayed. Now let us see this example now. Now first, let me go to database and delete some of the records. Accounts. 1, 2, 3, test 1. I am deleting it.
What are 19 records? Couple of records I am reading. Please tell how many records you got? 90. But out of 90 records, couple of records I am reading here. The total how many records you got? 12 records you got. There are previously 19, but I deleted 7 records. There are only 12 records. Remaining records are moved to recheck it. Now go back to the Excel. I will preview. So, how many records are you getting? Only 12. Are you getting the other records? Only 12 records. That means, when you write a sample query, you are going to get only the data which is there in the object. Okay. But now I am giving. I want to fetch all the records, including the records which are in the recycle bin. I want to fetch all the records, including the records which are in the recycle bin. What should I do? Account. All those. Accounts all those. When you say accounts all those, get me all the records, including the records which are in the recycle Look at this format. We got all records, including the records which are in the recycle If I remove this, if I remove this, only records which are not deleted, records which are not deleted, they are displayed. If I give, This is all those records which are deleted as well as records which are not deleted. So what is the purpose of all those? All those. This will fetch all the records including records which are deleted. Right. I hope you are clear. So what are the keywords you will see? Limit. Offset, order by, and all books. When you go with a limited offset, when you go with a limited offset, maximum value of offset is 2000. Limited. This will specify how many records will be written. This will specify. How many records should be written? This will specify. How many records should be written? This will specify. How many records should be written? From the query result. Option. Option. This will specify. This way. From which position? From which position? This will specify from which position we have we have to fetch the records. From position. Maximum value of offset is maximum value of offset is Maximum value of offset is 2000. Right? Maximum value of offset is 2000. Right? So that's all from my end for the day. We continue the session. Basically,